Okay, hello everyone in a new video. In this one we are going to solve an exercise related to optics and the chapters of lenses and formation of images. This exercise was a previous one in the Breve exams in 2017, second session, third exercise. The title of this exercise is Converging Lens. Consider a converging lens L of focal length F is equal to 4 cm and object AB of size AB is equal to 1 cm. So number one, they are telling me AB is placed 2 cm in front of L. So here 2 cm represent the distance between the object and the lens perpendicularly at A to the optical axis of L. A is on the optical axis. So 1.1 Construct with real scale the image A prime B prime of AB given by L. So we need to construct the image of AB. Notice that here they didn't give me the optical system. So in order to construct the image A'B' prime prime of AB, first we need to construct the optical system. So let's start by taking the direction of propagation from left to right. Then we place the optical axis at the middle having the same direction of propagation of light. Then we place the lens L perpendicular to the optical axis at the center. And we know that the intersection between the optical axis and the lens L is the optical center O. And this is the correct symbol of a converging lens. Now they told me here with the real scale, with the real scale means that we need to, we have one centimeter along the x-axis and one centimeter along the y-axis, okay? And now we need to place the image focus and the object focus. So the focal length here is given by four centimeter. And we divide by the scale along which are putting data, which is the scale along the x-axis. And this will give me four divisions. So the object focus F and the image focus F prime are four divisions away from the lens. Because the direction of propagation of light is from left to right and the lens that I'm using is a converging lens, then the object focus will be on the left and the image focus will be on the right. So one, two, three, four, this is the position of the object focus. And one, two, three, four, this is the position of the image focus F prime. And now we need to place the object. The object is, uh, is placed 2 cm in front of L. So this side is set to be in front of the lens. And this side is set to be behind the lens. Now 2 cm. And we divide by the scale along which we are putting data. Which is the scale along the x-axis. Will give me 2 divisions. And A is on the optical axis. Therefore, the point A will be two divisions away from the lens. And now we need to place the point B. Now the size of the object is given by AB is equal to one centimeter. And we divide by the scale along which we are putting data, which is the scale along the Y axis. And this will give me one division. So the point B is located one division above A. Now let's trace the object. Then what we have done so far is constructing the optical system and placing the object AB. Now we are ready to construct the image A'B'. Prime prime. And the word construct here means that we need to trace and, adjust and justify at the same time. So we need to trace the image A'B'. Prime prime and justify it. In order to trace the image A'B'. Prime prime, we need to consider two rays issued from B. So the first one is parallel to the optical axis. We know that this ray will emerge passing through the image focus. And the second ray that we'll consider is passing through the optical center. It will emerge without deviation. And we don't forget arrows on light rays, incident rays, as well as emergent rays. Now this is the tracing of the two rays. Now we need to justify their paths. So the justification of the first one, which is parallel to the optical axis, we will say that an incident ray
you shoot from B parallel to the optical axis emerges passing through the image focus Now we need to justify the path of the second ray, which is passing through the optical center. So let's say an incident ray. It should from be passing through the optical center. emerges without deviation and now we need to trace the image and justify it in order to trace the image we, re we require for the emergent rays to intersect notice that these emergent rays they don't intersect behind the lens therefore we need to prolongate them backward and always the prolongation is dotted this is the prolongation of the first emergent ray and this is the prolongation of the second emergent ray. They intersect at this point. So this point is the image, image of which object. Notice that these prolongations are coming from these emergent rays that are coming from these incident rays that are coming from the point B. Therefore, this point will represent B prime, the image of B. Moreover, notice that a hat is found on B directed away from the optical axis then we must place a hat on B prime directed away from the optical axis like this let's place the hat this is the hat okay and now we need to trace the image A prime of A here A represents the foot perpendicular of B on the optical axis therefore A prime will represent the foot perpendicular of B prime on the optical axis this is the point A prime and now let's trace the image and the image is dotted because it is the intersection of the prolongations. Now let's justify it. Then the image B prime of B is the intersection of the prolongations. of the emergent rays and in this case a prime represents a prime is the foot perpendicular of b prime on the optical axis So this is it for part 1.1. Now, now let's move to part 1.2. Uh, they are telling me is the image A prime B prime erect or inverted with respect to AB. So in other words, they are asking me about the direction of the image. Let me make some space. Notice, notice that here the object AB is pointing upward and the image A prime B prime is pointing upward. So both the image and the object are in the same direction, which means that the image is erect with respect to the object AB. Let's say that the the image A prime B prime is erect with respect. to the object AB. Now in 1.3 they are telling me uh, A prime B prime is virtual, justify. So notice that here the object AB and the image A prime B prime are on the same side of the lens, which is in front of the lens. And whenever the object and the image are on the same side, then the image is virtual. OK. 
ASENSE the object AB and the image A prime B prime are on the same side then the image A prime B prime is virtual So let's say here that in 1.2 the image is erect and in 1.3 the image is virtual. Now in 1.4 they are telling me give the size of a prime b prime of the image a prime b prime. So we need to calculate graphically the size of the image. Size. Now a prime b prime consists of one two two divisions and we multiply by the scale along which we have counted the number of divisions which is scale along the y axis and this will give me two since the scale is in centimeter then the value of a prime b prime will be in centimeter always all quantities in physics must have a unit finally it's a good habit to write our final answer in a box to make the task easier for the corrector to notice our correct answer okay notice that here the image a prime b prime consists of two divisions and uh, the object consists of one division which means that the image is larger in size than the object okay so let's write down here that a prime b prime is larger in size which we might use in part two Now in number two they are telling me during a laboratory session a teacher gives a student a converging lens L prime to examine a text as shown in document three. By referring to this document give two characteristics of the obtained image allowing to confirm that L prime is used in the same conditions of L. Here in document three we have a lens L prime and we are using this lens to read the text. So we need to give two characteristics of the obtained image that are of the same of these characteristics of a prime b prime to confirm that l prime is used in the same conditions of that of l so first of all this is the obtained image the letters observed through the through the lens and the text here represents the object so this is the obtained image and this is the object okay Notice that the letters have the same direction of that of the text, which means that the letters are erect with respect to the text. And because the letters represent the image and the text represent the object, therefore uh, the image is erect with respect to the object. So let's write this down. Since the obtained image is erect, and moreover notice that the letters here are larger than the text which means that the obtained image is larger than the object so let's write this down also and larger in size then these two characteristics are of the same of the image a prime b prime which is larger in size and erect for this reason, then the lens L prime is used in the same conditions of L. Okay, and by this, we have finished solving this exercise. Hope it was beneficial for you guys out there watching it, and see you soon another one.